listening to music, pretending like you're kind of in a movie, like you're the main character. Pop on some Taylor Swift All Too Well, the 10 minute version specifically. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plan. My eyebrows look so dark right now. I tinted, that's crooked. I tinted them last night and they look black. See, is that too overexposed? I hope not. Okay guys, so this has been a highly, highly requested video. I'm gonna be chatting about my fitness routine. And I think since I started my fitness journey, I have had this question come up all the time and I've never really made a video about it because I don't really have a fitness routine. And especially lately, I've been doing all different types of training. So I thought my fitness routine could essentially just be me talking in a video about all the different types of training that I do. And that's my fitness routine. Also, quick disclaimer, I am not a personal trainer. I don't have any qualifications in personal training or fitness industry. So everything that I'm saying is just like what I do, my own personal experience, what works for me. And as always, what works for me might not work for you. It took me a long time to figure out what type of training that I do. And now that I've tried a bunch of different types of things, I know what I like and I know that I can stick to what I like. Before I jump into it though, I do want to say thank you to Stax for sponsoring the beginning of this video. Stax is probably my favorite favorite activewear brand of all time. I love them so, so much. They also hold like a really special place in my heart because I think right around when I was really just getting into fitness, I kind of discovered Stax and started wearing their stuff. And then I became an affiliate with them. So they just, I don't know, I really, really love Stax. Their activewear is incredible. Every time they have a launch, I always let you guys know because they it's just amazing. If you haven't tried Stax yet, now is the perfect time because they're gonna be having a huge Black Friday sale with up to 80% off. Eight, zero, which is insane. I'm gonna pop the details here, but the sale is gonna start on Thursday, which is tomorrow. I'm pretty sure when you guys will see this. Thursday, the 25th of November at 9 a.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. That's 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. This is their only sale that they do in the entire year. So if you wanna get anything at up to 80% off, now is the time. And as well, Saks are actually giving away over $100,000 worth of free product. And as well, they're also launching an exclusive limited edition collection only for Black Friday, which is so cool. I will remind you guys of the sale on my Instagram, so make sure you go, <laughs> make sure you go ahead and follow me over there so you can like keep up to date with everything that's happening. If you are after a really solid pair of black tights, their best black tights, hence the name, are the best. Okay, I just popped on their best black strappy crop. They just are so smooth, so comfortable, and they're just like super simple. They have these in a bunch of different colors as well. So these are the 7.8s best black tights and they have the full length they've got the shorts as well also quick PSA these are my favorite caps to wear I went through a phase where I would always like every single weekly vlog I'd be like hey guys happy Monday it was me in the car after the gym with these hats on I have them in this like gray color and a brown as well I honestly don't know why I don't have them in every color I'm very picky with hats because sometimes they just don't look right on my head but these just fit the best I love them. I really didn't do my hair today, did I? Um, this is also one of their shirts from their Originals collection. The Originals, oh, I love the Originals collection. Anyway, I'll have all the info about their massive Black Friday sale down below if you wanna check it out. Bit of backstory if you haven't been following along. It was around the beginning of 2020. Let me slow down. <laughs> I'm speaking so fast. I hope the background's not ugly. Kind of the beginning of 2020 was when I was like, I want to get back into fitness because I hadn't really been in it for a long time. Like I'd, I would start, but I wouldn't really do much about it. And I also made a fitness journey video around September last year, I reckon. It was a while ago. And I started F45 at the beginning of, was it the beginning of 2020? I think so. And then COVID happened and I started it, then I kind of fell off a bit and then we everything opened back up and I got really into F45 and I loved it. It was the perfect place for me to start. And I really did completely like transform my body, my relationship with fitness. And I found what I really, really liked doing, which was group fitness. And I loved F45, don't get me wrong. I still think it was really great. I just got to a point where I felt like I wasn't really progressing and I was getting a little bit bored. Nothing on F45. I think I was there for maybe almost a year and I was kind of just like, all right, I'm ready to kind of switch things up. So I decided to try kind of like a CrossFit style gym, which was still group fitness, but it was much more CrossFit oriented. And it was a lot younger. Like my F45 was very much like an older 
clientele whereas the one that I went to was a little bit younger people more my age and I really liked CrossFit I probably did that for like three or so months I just found it to be very very taxing on my body um and it wasn't like a CrossFit gym it just I definitely did a lot of like the barbell classes which I really enjoyed and I think kind of learning new types of skills was really cool I just found it to be yeah very taxing on my body and in regards to nutrition as well kind of just to briefly bring that in. When I kind of transformed my body and I lost weight, I was tracking and in a calorie deficit. And then kind of at the beginning, it's getting really hot in here. Kind of at the beginning of this year, which is kind of crazy to say that that was almost a year ago, the beginning of this year. Kind of unintentionally reverse dieted by kind of slowly phasing out tracking, which is good. And at the moment I'm not tracking. I've kind of tried to start like cuts here and there, but I just, I feel like I do like one day or I get to lunch and I'm like, eh, I can't be bothered. And like this year has been a crazy year for me. I've moved out of home. I've met so many new people. I was in a relationship. I'm out of a relationship. It's just been like this. So sometimes when life is a bit hectic, tracking your food and hitting all these steps and doing all that is not at the forefront of your priorities, but which is fine. So doing CrossFit, I was like, mm, this is not really for me. But one thing I do want to say is I really love group fitness and I'm the type of person who I need group fitness. <laughs> I don't love going to just a regular gym on my own and just doing something on my own. I do do it sometimes. I definitely love training around other people and I need that push from someone to be like, move. Otherwise, I don't really do it. And I love the social aspect of it because I am someone who works from home. So it's almost like my socializing. So I decided to change from the CrossFit style group fitness to FitStop, which is kind of, it's similar to F45, but it's a little bit different. It's kind of like a combination of functional fitness. So you have your strength days, there's hit days, and I really, really like it. Will I stay there forever? Probably not, because I feel like with fitness, you just, you've got to change things up, at least to me, because I find myself getting a little bit bored. So yeah, that's where I'm, oh, my camera is overheating. So yeah, that's kind of like my main type of fitness that I do. And for me, enjoying my fitness is really important. Otherwise, I'm not going to go. I feel like I would probably get really bored if I was just going to a regular gym on my own just doing things by myself and at some point in my life I might really want to do that but at the moment I know it's not for me but like I said you've got to find what works for you and the biggest thing that I would recommend is consistency so if you know that you're going to go to a normal gym more often because you just like training on your own rather than doing group fitness then do that because you know you're going to go because I love everything about training with other people, making friends. I know I would prefer that and that's what's gonna make me be consistent. So that's where, that's the route that I go down. I hope that makes any type of sense. And I would say if you're intimidated by that type of training, go with a friend. A lot of these places have a seven day free trial or a free trial class. Go with a friend, even if they're not intending on signing up, go with a friend because the hardest part is honestly just walking through the door and like doing it on your own is scary. I still get nervous if I go to a gym I haven't been to. I'm like, oh gosh, even though I'm like not a newbie at the gym, I still feel like, whoa, I don't know what I'm doing. Go with someone. That's what I did at F45. My mum came with me for the first like week. And then again, I'm pretty sure Freya came with me, Elise came with me when I tried out CrossFit for the first time, just because I didn't want to be there on my own, even though they had no intentions of joining up. I feel like I'm talking so much. I'm so sorry, but recently I have introduced boxing, which you would have seen in my weekly vlogs. And I am obsessed. I love it so, so much. I did do boxing years ago, kind of in like a group fitness when I was still at high school that I went to with my mom. Did anyone else do that? Like go to a group fitness with their mom when they were like, I don't know, younger or something because that was great. I don't know if that, I feel like that's pretty like common. We did a tiny bit of boxing back then, but I hadn't done it since. So literally in the last month, I've kind of been doing boxing like once a week, maybe twice a week. And I really, really like it. I just think it's really good for me at the point that I'm in to have different types of working out, which is something that I didn't really do before. And I'm really excited to see where I can go because now I kind of want to introduce running as well, which I'll talk about in a second. Yeah, I love boxing. It's so, so good. 45 minutes can fly by and you'll be like, whoa, I burnt this many calories. Where did the time go? Because you're so focused on getting the combos. My boxing trainer, Ethan's really good at like making it fun and it's challenging. So you feel really accomplished when you like nail a combo and it's really 
really good fitness. So it's just like super fun all round. So I really, really enjoy boxing. I highly recommend it if you've been thinking about it. You feel like a badass even if you are just going because I haven't been doing it like consistently but I really want to implement it because I think it'll be super beneficial for just every aspect of my fitness and that is running I went on a run on Monday it's now Sunday as I'm filming this but in my defense I did get a really bad blister but that's because I need to invest in proper running shoes but in my head I'm like oh I shouldn't invest in running shoes unless I'm actually gonna do it consistently but in order to do it consistently I need to have good running shoes do you know what I mean? But I went on a run on Monday and it was pretty okay. I'm not a good runner. I have never been good at running, like long distance running. I was really good at sprinting in high school, but long distance running has never ever been my forte. Even when I played weekend sport, like hockey and what other sports? Gymnastics. Like even when I was super, super like child fit, you know, when you're a kid, you're like, your fitness level is on a different, it, it's in a different realm. I was never good at running. I've never had a great cardiovascular situation going on. So I want to be decent at running. Like in an ideal world, I would love to be able to run like 10K and just like do it. In an ideal world, in reality, I would love to be able to do 5K at a really good pace. So that's kind of like where I'm at. I really want to conquer running because I've tried to get into it a couple times when every time we go into a lockdown, I'm like, yep, this is my time. I'm getting into running and I do like one run and that's it. But I would really love to see the changes in my body that would happen if I consistently ran. I think it would help me with my obviously overall fitness. And it's just another aspect of fitness that I would love to incorporate. So we're one run down. If you have any tips for running, please leave them down below. If you have any shoes that you would recommend for running. And to top it all off, another thing that I really like doing for my fitness and my mental health is walking. I've been getting back into walking in the last few weeks. I find that when life gets a bit busy, it becomes less of a priority, but hitting some steps, it's just incredible for your mental health. I love walking with Charlie. She's getting really good at walking. And it's just a really easy thing to do. If you're just starting out with fitness, walking is super simple and it's a step in the right direction. No pun intended, but a little bit. I'll be in moods where I'm like, the last thing I feel like doing is going for a walk. And then as soon as you step out the door, you're like, wow, this is great. Listening to music, pretending like you're kind of in a movie, like you're the main character. Pop on some Taylor Swift All Too Well, the 10 minute version specifically. And it's great. I went on like a 7K walk this morning, kind of unintentionally. Even if it's a literally like one kilometer where it takes me about 15 minutes, it just makes me feel better because I think we got to remember that physical health is great, but your mental health is also just as important. And that's something that, you know, in terms of like having an all round, like good fitness routine, you got to make sure your mental health is in check as well. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to keep in check with the physical part. You know what I mean? And vice versa. If I'm having a shitty mental day, getting some movement in definitely helps the best medicine for mental health, in my opinion, for me, has been physical movement. <laughs> Why did I say that? Exercise. Exercise definitely, definitely, definitely helps my mental health. I also prefer to work out in the morning. It's funny because I am like the most productive as soon as I wake up. Well, yeah, no, I'm, I'm an early bird. I love getting stuff done in the morning. So sometimes I will get straight into work, which means I then work out in the afternoon, but I definitely prefer to work out in the morning. Hello. But so it just depends what I've got on for the day. But I think that's everything. I hope this video is helpful. I kind of just went in with like no plan, but I just wanted to talk about all of the kind of fitness things that I do at the moment because I get lots of questions about if I still do F45, 
what I'm doing, if I still do CrossFit and blah, 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 blah. So, so yeah, at the moment with my whole fitness journey, because I am kind of like, I don't really have a goal. And sometimes when I don't have a goal with my fitness, you can get a bit bored, you can get a bit lost and I, you don't really know what to do. So like I said, I really do want to start getting into running and I do kind of want to start a little cut just because it gives me a goal because obviously I've probably been needing it maintenance and maintenance slash a surplus for a long time now probably like a majority of this year and I've definitely gained muscle so I would love to kind of strip back my body fat percentage just a tiny bit and just see like the muscles pop out a bit more and, and see like kind of you know what I've done there so but that is kind of my fitness routine I hope you guys enjoyed it thank you again to Stacks for sponsoring today's video I will leave again their sale info down below 80% off is crazy but as always I hope you guys are having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time